Well, I was not expecting to make an emergency JMOLs video today, but here we are nonetheless, that we have just seen some red flags coming from EA in the latest hour as they have made the announcement to shut down one of the biggest projects that they have made since the 2020s. And of course, that is affecting the Apex Legends universe. And today we're going to talk about it. So like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date, all things Apex related. Let's go ahead and jump right into this one. Firstly, I want to thank all of you for tagging me in this post and many other posts out there regarding this information. I like literally got slammed with people tagging me in this. It was unbelievable. So Apex Legends Mobile made the official tweet 19 minutes ago at the time of recording this saying we have made the decision to sunset Apex Legends Mobile, meaning they are shutting Apex Mobile down. Unfortunately, we are sure you have a lot of questions. For more information, you can go on to FAQ here on their EA website and read the blog below and stay tuned because a lot of these answered questions really pop up some red flags as to what EA is up to with the whole situation of revenue systems and how they proceed to go on with the universe of Apex Legends. And their official statement said this, we have made the painful decision to sunset Apex Legends Mobile. A little bit of a nicer and a prettier way to say we're shutting the game down. This decision does not come with ease. Factors beyond our control have prevented us from maintaining the high quality experience and content that our players deserve. As a result, the game will sunset on May the 1st, 2023 at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which it will no longer be playable. Our gratitude to our players and teams for joining us on the Apex Legends mobile experience, even if it was for a short while, is unending from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, Respawn Entertainment. At first, I was kind of confused and was wondering if EA actually had anything to do with this because I know Tencent Games is in correlation and you know correspondence with Respawn Entertainment here to make this title. However, at the end of the day, EA is the one who owns all of this stuff. And I guess that was kind of confirmed when the official blog post was out on the EA website, which kind of confirmed that, that is exactly what was going on. Now, their claims here in this article is the fact that they're shutting it down because of for outside unforeseen circumstances that is causing them to not be able to uphold the highest quality of game possible. And therefore, they don't feel like their players deserve that. And that's why they're shutting it down. But that is the red flag that we're going to be uncovering today because there's some other things indicating that that might not actually be the case following the rabbit hole some other things that honestly could be affecting us very very soon in the apex legends universe so some of these questions were answered and i honestly could not believe what i was reading so what will happen to my in-game purchases they say all of your purchases will remain on your account for you to enjoy until may the 1st 4 p.m pdt which once again is a very nice way of saying all of your stuff is about to get deleted what will happen to my in-game virtual currency your existing in-game virtual currency balances will persist in your account and can be spent on in-game content between now and the same time that a game closes once again another nice way of saying we're deleting your in-game currency can i get a refund we will not be providing refunds for real money purchases per terms of the ea user agreement for any other refund requests please contact the third party platform you purchase the game content on via the apple store and the play store once again making it sound like it's not that we don't want to give you refunds it's just that the ea user agreement says that you can't get a refund and that's what we're hiding behind because we don't want to give you your money back the servers will go down may the first the web store will no longer be accessible or available what does this mean for apex legends on other platforms it says the decision for apex legends mobile is a platform specific and is an independent of the game on pc and consoles as a franchise apex legends is strong and we're looking forward to sharing exciting updates in the future basically saying this is only for apex legends mobile now what i'm not buying is their excuse and their statement on twitter saying that basically decision does not come with ease and factors beyond our control have prevented us from maintaining the high quality experience and content that our players deserve i think it was really articulated well to post this from respawn entertainment because yes it is factors beyond respawn entertainment's control but not out of ea's control and i think i know exactly why they decided to nuke this whole situation even alpha intel saying breaking news respawn on is shutting down apex mobile this stuff is going all over the place but just literally the day before they announced that they were nuking apex mobile this is what came out from alpha intel apex legends mobile has hit 40 million dollars in revenue but it has declined in earnings and downloads it made 3.5 million in december which is down from 7 million in may of last year the average downloads per day of Apex Mobile has dropped to only 40,000 and it was around 100,000 last year. The next season has been delayed due to bugs and data and findings were on mobilegamer.biz. Jordan Smash even saying that Apex Legends Mobile shutting down in less than a year and not even offering refunds is the most EA thing I've ever heard. And Human also saying everyone was talking about how much better Apex Legends Mobile development was compared to the main game, but now it's being shut down. And look, there is a lot to glean from this. On one hand, there was a lot of amazing features that Apex Legends Mobile 
Rumble had that I really wish that the main game of Apex had. However, there's also a lot of things that we looked at and respected for Apex Mobile for not being so money hungry. We saw them not long ago basically saying their intentions was to eventually make every item in the game free for them at some point. However, they just basically wanted to make the game good enough so that people actively wanted to spend their money. But as you can tell, EA does not care about being Mr. Nice Guy, and that's why Nice Guys finished last, and that's why the entire game seemed to have been nuked, because despite it bringing a lot of amazing features and a lot of amazing items to the game, it doesn't matter. If it's not making money, EA is going to decide to nuke it. And it's kind of sad because the entire esports industry seems to be that way as well. And that's why many organizations are making cutbacks. You see a lot of organizations out there, you know, just basically defunding a lot of their teams and getting rid of a lot of players, getting rid of a lot of teams and people. Esports rosters have been cut. A lot of teams have moved on from editors and, you know, just a lot of staff members as well. Hunter Thieves have made countless drops. TSM, I think have made some layoffs as well but not as many but then also you know cloud nine g2 many organizations out there have really been hit hard by the economic situation and that is why we're seeing a lot of backdraws. i would assume maybe this is including one of those however something i am extremely worried about i know all of this is apex mobile related but there is really something that has me worried and that is the competitive scene of this game we know that apex legends thrives based off the competition we know that players like imperial how and you know like sweet dreams and these really big organizations like tsm and nrg are carrying hard right now the apex esports scene we've lost big teams like g2 like cloud nine like team liquid as far as the esports roster goes and i honestly cannot see a world where we continue to go in the right direction if ea does not really help this esports scene out however we know that based upon this information they don't care about really helping they care about making money so not long ago we saw that a lot of these team organizations seem to be in somewhat of a negotiation between a regarding the team skins that should have been released in this game however it seemed like ea wanted to pay more of a flat rate to get these you know company organizations and logos and stuff on these skins the organizations themselves wanted to get a little bit of a royalty based upon sales because obviously they rightfully deserve that tsm knows that they can make more sales than pretty much any other organization out there they're gonna want a percentage of course and they rightfully should want a percentage but it seems like these skins got canceled because none of these organizations could make an agreement with ea shortly after is when we saw a lot of these organizations leaving the esports scene and i really wonder and worry with ea's whole situation of basically nuking an entire game because it's not making enough money are we going to be in a situation very shortly where they decide to nuke the algs and nuke the esports scene because it's not making maybe the money they thought it would when you're losing some of your big fan favorite organizations right now from the game it is a scary situation given we have received some of these organizations in return like phase clan that we didn't have before but it's definitely something to worry about and when you see their heart with money i'm definitely concerned about the future of the competitive aspect of this game and where ea may seem to take it regardless if you choose to take them at their word the latest that they have to say is that as a franchise apex legends is strong and they're looking forward to sharing exciting updates in the future I'm interested to see what you guys have to say about all of this down in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date. All things Apex Legends related. Cannot believe I made two videos in a day. Been a very long time since I've done this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you later, Gators.